to find out water holding capacity of different soil samples by percolation method. Madam, please explain the process of percolation. Can we examine the water holding capacity of different soil samples by using the method of percolation? Soil can be differentiated on the basis of size of their particles. Clay soil is finely grained and holds adequate water. Sandy soil is unevenly grained and holds a very little amount of water. Loamy soil is medium grained and holds optimum amount of water and air. Let's perform an experiment to find out water holding capacity of different soil samples by percolation method. The materials required are some samples of dry soil, graduated cylinder, a measuring flask, a beaker, water, a funnel, tan for funnel and wire mesh. Procedure. Take a funnel and place it on a funnel stand. Put a wire mesh in it. Take first soil sample, 100 gram and put it in the funnel. Place a graduated cylinder below this funnel. Take 200 milliliter of water in the measuring flask and pour it slowly over the soil in the funnel. As the soil gets wet, the water trickles down into the cylinder. Measure the water collected in the cylinder. Repeat the above process with other samples. Observation Serial number Soil sample Soil quantity Quantity of water poured Quantity of water collected after percolation 1. A. 100 gram 200 milliliter 2. B. 100 gram 200 milliliter 3. C. 100 gram 200 milliliter. Result. The amount of water collected in the cylinder is maximum in the case of sandy soil and least in the case of clay soil. Hence, clay soil has the maximum water holding capacity and sandy soil has the minimum water holding capacity. Do's. Pour the water slowly. Pour same amount of water in each soil sample. Don'ts. Do not use the same funnel for all the soils. Do not disturb the apparatus after pouring water in it. Thank you, madam. This experiment has made the concept very easy to understand.